Hey there, welcome back to the At Home Dive YouTube channel. As always, my name is Joey, and today we're in the kitchen making another classic favorite. Today, we're going to show you the fastest and easiest way to make the French baguette using what you have at home. So sit back, hit that subscribe button, and let's dive right in. Kind of we're going to start with three and a half cups of AP flour, two tablespoons of honey, two and a half teaspoons of kosher salt, four and a half teaspoons of instant yeast, and one and a half cups of warm water. And that's really all we're going to need for now. So let's get started. The very first thing we're going to do is take the salt and add it to the flour. We're just going to give this a quick mix and then set it aside. Now we're going to take about half a cup of the water and add it into the honey. And now we're going to add in the yeast. Even though we don't typically let instant yeast rise before adding it in, we are gonna let this activate for about three minutes just to give it a good head start. As you can see, the yeast is starting to get nice and foamy and that lets us know that we're on our way. We're gonna go ahead and add the yeast water mixture into the flour while mixing. Once you've added the yeast mixture and worked it in, the dough should be really shaggy looking and starting to form. We're gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the water gradually as we continue to work the dough. Keep your flour handy in case you need to add an extra little dusting. I'm going to add mine no more than a spoon at a time. And our goal here is to get the dough to where we can manageably work it and fold it into itself. Once the dough gets to where you can fold it into itself, it would be a good time to go ahead and try to remove a lot of the excess from your fingers. Once you get the dough to where you can work it into itself, and it's not super sticky anymore, as you can see, it's still moist in the middle. But once it's not very sticky, I'm gonna lightly dust the countertop and then I'm gonna turn the dough out onto the countertop. And be sure to get anything left in the bowl and rake it out to incorporate right back into your dough. Now I'm gonna knead the dough for about five to six minutes. If you need any additional flour to keep the dough from being too sticky, feel free to add just a sprinkle as you go, but don't add too much. Five minutes later. All right, so I've kneaded the dough for about five and a half, six minutes now. And as you can see, when you press in, it pushes back and that lets us know that we've developed enough elasticity. The dough is slightly sticky, but not too sticky. You can touch it and it doesn't really stick to your fingers. So now it's time for our big bowl. I'm gonna take another large clean bowl and add about two teaspoons of oil to it. Then I'm gonna take the dough and press it smooth dome side down and rub it around and spread the oil. Then I'm gonna flip the dough. Now all sides and the bowl is coated with oil as well. So it should rise well and not dry out. I'm gonna cover it with a large damp dishcloth and I'm gonna put it somewhere warm for about 30 minutes. All right, friends, we are back. It's been the 30 minutes, and as you can see here, the dough has about doubled in size. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna gently turn it out onto the countertop. Rolls out nice and easy since we have oiled the bowl properly. And we're gonna go ahead and just cut it right in half. And as you can see here, we have the beginnings of our loaves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently roll the loaf out. And we're looking for about a two by 15 loaf. And then once we get pretty close to that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sides and I'm gonna pull them back and pinch them together and just kind of fold the dough into itself. And where the dough seal meets, I'm gonna go down through there and just pinch it again. And that's gonna create that seal that's gonna help stretch the outside of the dough smooth and form it into the true baguette shape. Now we're gonna turn it seal side down. And with the seal side turned down, I roll the ends of the baguette underneath and that's gonna make sure that we don't get a rolled look on the end. We get that tapered smooth look that you're looking for. Now we have a really sharp knife. I'm gonna score it four times diagonally. This is gonna allow it to expand and also give it that artisan baguette look that most people are used to. Now I have a tray with about two thirds of a cup a cornmeal on here. I'm gonna gently pick up the loaf and I'm gonna roll it and lift and set it down right on the cornmeal. And now I'm gonna repeat the same exact process with the other loaf. So here's our two baguette loaves. Again, now we're gonna let it rise the second time. I'm gonna take the same damp dishcloth and I'm gonna place it somewhere warm and come back in 30 more minutes. 
a little longer than a few minutes later. All right, friends, it's been about 20 minutes, and we're gonna go ahead and preheat our oven to 450 degrees here. And by the time it's ready, the bread should be about as well. We are back, and it's been 30 minutes, and our bread has doubled in size again, so that lets us know that we are ready to go. I am just gonna tighten it up, and then we're gonna go right into the oven. So we have our bread, and we're gonna go straight into the high rack in the oven, and we're gonna take a few cubes of ice dump right into a hot pan that we have preheated there as well. Dumping the ice into a hot metal pan is going to initially create steam in the oven, and that's going to help give us that crispy outside on the baguette. We want the soft center, but we need it to cook faster on the outside so that it gets nice and crisp. There we are. After 15 minutes in the oven at 450 degrees, we have these beautiful, well-crusted baguettes. We're going to let them cool down, and we'll be back in about 30 minutes to cut them open. We've given the bread enough time to cool fully. We're gonna go ahead and give it a cut. You notice it has the nice firm exterior. We're gonna take a look at the inside. And as you can see, we have perfectly evenly spaced soft bread. And so that's exactly what we're looking for with the traditional French baguette. Well, that wraps us up on how to make French baguettes the fast and simple way. Comment below and let me know how yours turned out. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.